Hello developers! My name is Matt Rabel and today I'd like to show you how to create a React Native application using the Okta CLI that integrates it with Okta and sets everything up for you in just three minutes. Let's giddy up! To begin, you'll need the Okta CLI installed. You can get that from cli.okta.com. You can see there's instructions for Mac OS, for Windows, as well as Linux. And once you have that installed, you can open up a terminal and run Okta Start React Native. And if you don't have an account, it'll prompt you to create one. You can see if you do have one, you can just run Okta Login. This will create a new Okta account and org for you. It'll also download a React Native application and configure it to work with this org and create a new OIDC application on this org, which will be a native application because you know we're putting this on a phone. So it prompts you to check your email for a verification code. Paste that in there. And then you'll see you have a new Okta domain right there and it'll prompt you to change your password. So scroll up a bit, click on that link. Once you change your password, you'll be logged into your developer console and then go back to your terminal and you'll see the instructions. So it, it created this client ID, right, for your React Native application. It wrote everything to that auth config.js and you'll need to CD into this React Native directory. So CD React Native, then cat that auth config. Let's just see what that looks like. And then you can run npm install. And if you scroll up, it has the rest of the directions for you. So for instance, for iOS, you need to run pod install in the iOS directory, and then npm run iOS, and for Android, it's just npm run Android. So we'll go down to the bottom, run pod install, and then we can run npm run iOS. You can see that does take a while to build the first time, two minutes, 45 seconds. If we were to click login here, it'll prompt us to use octa.com to log in. And then as long as you remember your credentials, shouldn't be a problem. This is the hard part. Now we're logged in. You can see we could get a user ID or a user from the ID token. And we can also get it from the request. So that's all working. And now we could try it on Android, npm run Android. And then click login. Type in your credentials. and you're logged in and you can do the same actions to get your users information. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and the Octa CLI it certainly is awesome. Subscribe and come back for more.